My name is Brenda Hobden and I am the Director of Card Services here at Creighton University. I'm here to help you walk through getting your student ID for the fall of 2020. Let's get started. First thing, you're going to download the ID Cards Terms and Conditions Agreement. If you click on the website um, link below, you'll be able to find those. There's only one of the two forms that you need, and it is the ID Card Terms and Conditions Agreement. Here's what that page looks like. Um, and you'll notice that the ID Card Terms and Conditions Agreement there is highlighted for you. That's the one that we'd like you to print, sign, and then scan back into an email to us. You're also going to photo um, copy or send me images of your driver's license, both the front and the back. And then you're going to take a very good selfie of yourself. So these are how we're eventually going to crop it. But if you step back on a neutral background like is behind me and take a um, good picture of yourself, it is a picture that the university uses to um, share with professors. Um, it'll be part of your Amy um, Outlook um, images um, until you change them. So be sure to smile and send me a great one. The more dense, the more P um, points per square inch, um, the better. We can always um, take the quality down a step if we need to. So once you compile all these things, you've got the agreement, you've got the selfie, you've photocopied your driver's license, you can email them to us at cardservices at creighton.edu. There isn't a need to fill out the application form because we're not going to be turning around and mailing those back to you. We're going to get them to Student Life, who will present them to you as part of your check-in when you come to campus this fall. So your card's going to look like this, except it's going to have your name and smile right there. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to either email me, call me, um, text me, whatever works for you, be happy to help. 